Hello and welcome to another QT Office video tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about how to input your initial inventory. This is when you first start using QT Office to get the all of your existing inventory entered into QT. After you have manually input your inventory, you will import orders going forward. So this is the only time you'll really have to uh, do any manual inventory. To get started, you'll need to have a count of all the products that you have on hand. And to help you out with that, you can click on the print inventory option and print out a blank inventory. And to do that, first you want to uncheck only print inventory in stock because at this point you don't have anything in stock. And I would also uncheck the, this box next to category title and then you can go through the categories uh, one or two at a time and print them out. That way you're not printing a huge long list. So for this we would just check this first category and click print. And that will give us a list of all of the products in that category. And if we print out this page we can go and count everything on our shelf and just write in the numbers as we go down. and then you would want to do this for every category. Now section 2 and discontinued uh, you can probably skip those because there are tons of them and if you tried to print those out it would be many many pages. So once you have a count of all of the products you have on hand you go back to my inventory And then you can just go down the list. Again, these are the same categories that you printed out. You'd expand and go to each category. And you can see I have only show all hand products checked, so that's why I'm not seeing anything. So I uncheck that and it shows me the full list. And this will be in the same order as the sheet you printed out. So once you've done that counting, you just need to come in and fill in the numbers that you have. And now Right now I'm in normal edit mode and that means that when I change one number and go to the next product the page will refresh. Now that's going to take a lot of time if you're going down and filling in every every item. So put it in bulk edit mode. This will allow you to update multiple products without having to reload the page. And then once you've updated all the numbers you just click update and the page only has to load once much faster when you're inputting a lot of products. This is also a good time to set your don't fall below number. This is your minimum inventory level that you would like to maintain. So for this first product if I set my don't fall below for two, if the, the actual quantity falls below two then this product will show up on the reorder items report. It will show me everything that has a quantity below my don't fall below number. It makes it easy for me to know exactly how many I need to reorder to get back to my desired inventory level. So after you've gone through the entire list of all the categories and updated all of the products that you have on hand, you'll then want to record your expenses for those orders. You do that by going to the expenses page and then clicking on add expense. So every time you place an order with InTouch there are four expenses that you need to record and they are in this drop down the last four that are InTouch unimported section one wholesale section two total taxes paid to Mary Kay and shipping paid to Mary Kay. We recommend you go back and enter these expenses for the current year for tax purposes so that you'll have all of that ready for your tax report at the end of the year. You don't have to go to previous years but you can if you like. So to do this you would find the invoice for your all the orders that you've placed in this current year and you would just find these four totals on the invoice and come here and record them. So we would choose Section 1 Wholesale, uh, we could put in a little note about this. The expense date would be the date of the order. We put in the amount and click Save. Then we would do 
section two, taxes and shipping. And we do this for each order that we place within touch. Now going forward, you will be able to import your orders from InTouch, and that will add the products to your inventory and record these expenses for you. So this only has to be done for orders that you placed before you started with QT Office. You will also have the option of entering old invoices, those are your customer sales, so that you can have a complete history of your sales for the year. And we will discuss that in another video, just look for entering old invoices. If you have any questions about your initial inventory input or recording expenses for those unimported orders, you can contact us by clicking the help button at the top of the screen.